just like brownie batter. So good. What I eat in a day and my workouts. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I honestly just want to jump straight in. Two weeks ago, I honestly wasn't feeling very confident. For like a solid week, I was waking up bloated every day. I felt less toned than normal. And when I looked in the mirror, I honestly wasn't very happy with how I felt. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It happens to everyone and you can't feel 100% all the time. But like I said, two weeks ago, I decided to do something about it. Since then, I've made a couple super important changes to my healthy lifestyle, as well as what I eat in a day and my workouts. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys absolutely everything I eat in a day for a lean and defined stomach, as well as the tips of what I did for these past two weeks that have really helped me feel confident again, reduce bloating, and make me feel really lean and strong. And whenever I do these what I eat in a days, I also do like a mini healthy vlog. So you're also going to see my new favorite arms and abs workout, and I'm going to take you surfing with me, and I'm going to cook for you guys, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. So grab a snack right now, and I hope you join me. So right now, I'm going to insert a little clip of my two-week results. But before I do, I want to let you guys know that I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist, and these are tips that just work for me. Here's my little body update. My only fitness goal right now is reducing bloating in the morning and gaining some more confidence. So yeah, that's it. That's my body and I love it. But now it's time for some avocado toast. Little morning routines like making my healthy breakfast are the best thing in the world. And now I'm just cooking two eggs and a little bit of olive oil. And oops, I just dropped an eggshell in there. But anyway, I love adding fresh herbs, salt and pepper, and it's honestly such a simple but amazing combination. Now I'm just cutting off the kind of nasty part from the avocado because it turned brown in the fridge and I'm mashing it with lemon juice, salt, and pepper and then I'm going to spread it over an Ezekiel English muffin. I just posted a TikTok workout. <laughs> Breakfast was amazing, but we already knew that because I'm the avocado toast queen. I literally have it for breakfast every single day. I like never get tired of it. But now we're gonna move into tip number one of how I was able to transform my body and my confidence in these past two weeks. Tip number one is 100% focusing on portions. So two weeks ago, I wasn't really listening to my body's hunger cues. I always love intuitive eating because it just allows me to eat whenever I'm hungry and stop when I'm full. But sometimes in practice, that becomes difficult because sometimes I feel like snacking when I'm just bored and and not because I'm hungry. And that's not the best thing because eating when your body isn't hungry usually makes you feel a little bit heavy and bloated and it doesn't really serve a purpose to fuel your body because your body isn't hungry in the first place. So what I did over these past two weeks was eat really mindfully. So most of the time I would try to eat when I wasn't looking at my phone or the computer and I didn't do it all the time but I really made sure that I was really focused on what I was eating and that way I would know when my body was hungry and when it was full and when I was full I stopped eating. It's best to be 80% full but 100% satisfied. So that means that you could probably eat like five more spoonfuls but on the whole your body is completely satisfied and you're not really craving anything else i tried to listen to that rule whenever i was eating and it made such a huge difference because then after meals i wasn't feeling uncomfortably full and i just felt so energized oh my god my chicken is being so loud <laughs> My mom just got home, so I think we're gonna go surfing in a bit, so I'll take you guys with me. But before we go surfing, I'm gonna move on to the second tip for today, which is making sure that you're staying active all day. And I'm not talking about your workouts. You definitely don't have to work out more than once a day, but I'm talking about the activities that you do in addition to your workouts. So what I did in these past two weeks was really focus on staying active in addition to my workouts. So I would go to the grocery store, I would walk around the block, I would do like quick little yoga flows first thing in the morning. And of course, I would focus on surfing every day. And that really made a huge difference in my confidence levels how my body looked and how I felt every day. As you're watching this, I challenge you to do a quick little five minute stretch. So now I'm gonna go take my own advice and be active and I'm gonna go surfing with my mom and I'll bring you guys with me, of course.
grocery store and I picked up lots of veggies. So now what I'm going to make for lunch is a super amazing vegan spring roll platter. And it's such a fun and interactive lunch. So next time you're with a group of friends or your family, I definitely suggest making it. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And that leads me to the next tip for how I completely changed my body in these last few weeks. And that is filling half of my plates at each meal with vegetables. And a big part of that is having raw veggies because they are so hydrating. They really fill you up and they actually make you feel so energized and vibrant and it's so good for your skin and hair. And of course, all the fiber from the veggies is amazing for your digestion. So spring rolls is the perfect way to get lots of raw veggies in because the main base is actually vegetables and tofu and like a really light peanut sauce. And I hope this inspired you to make your next meal full of lots of veggies. And they could be cooked or raw or lightly steamed, but basically the point is to make sure that at least half your plate is full of veggies because that is gonna make such a difference in how you feel and also how your body looks because you're gonna get naturally leaner. Spring roll time. This is a super customizable recipe. You're just gonna pick your favorite raw veggies and slice or grate them super, super thinly. For this platter, I used romaine lettuce, purple cabbage, grated carrots, beets, and zucchini, and I added my main toppings, which were tofu, avocado, and edamame, but you could also add shrimp or fish. I used rice paper rolls to wrap everything and dip the spring rolls in a simple tahini sauce. It is so good. And there's my mom dancing because it's amazing. So the spring roll setup is finally done and I have this amazing tahini sauce that I'm going to dip it in. And I just posted the recipe for the tahini on my TikTok, so check it out if you want the exact recipe. So I'm going to enjoy these spring rolls for lunch and I'll catch you guys later. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Okay, so now it's been about an hour since lunch and the spring rolls were so good, so please let me know in the comments if you're gonna try them. Now I'm gonna make my single serving brownie cookie and it is so good. I'm just gonna be eyeballing the recipe right now, but if you want exact measurements, I'll leave it in the description. Or you can watch one of my latest TikTok videos where I show you how to make the entire recipe. First, I'm gonna start with some almond flour and some cacao or cocoa powder. So the tip I'm going to talk about right now is not restricting yourself from dessert. And honestly, this is something that I've been doing for the past year, so it's definitely not something I changed in the past two weeks, but I felt that it was super important to mention it because I feel like a lot of people don't know that this is so essential for your fitness goals. So in short, it's important to know that when you restrict, you're more likely to overdo it or binge on the foods that you're restricting in the future. So what I will always recommend for anyone that wants to change their life and just have a healthier relationship with food is allowing yourself to have treats every single day. What I do is that when Whenever I'm craving dessert, I just have it as a snack instead. And all the desserts that I make are super, super healthy, so they can basically stand in for a snack or a meal. So honestly, for these past two weeks, I've been having treats every single day. So in the past two weeks, I've never had a day where I have like five cookies in a day. It's always one or two, and I'm always eating and enjoying the desserts until I feel satisfied. But like I said before, I feel 80% full, but 100% satisfied. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of tahini, but you guys can also use peanut butter in this recipe. I love using tahini in my baking because it adds the best texture ever. It actually just makes it feel like a regular cookie, which is hard to believe because tahini is basically sesame seed butter, but oh my God, it is so good. So next time you're at the supermarket, pick up one of these. A little drizzle of maple syrup, about, ooh, <laughs> that went overboard. I always add about two tablespoons. So that's pretty good. We cannot forget the vanilla because it is so essential. So I'm gonna add a little cupful. Okay, look at how amazing this looks, just like brownie butter. So good. I'm sweating so much right now. Also, I didn't mention, if anyone's new here, I live in Cabo, Mexico, and I've been living here for 14 years. So yeah, <sighs> that's why it's so hot. <laughs> so now the dough is coming together really nicely, and I'm gonna refrigerate this for about 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna bake it at 350 for 15 minutes, and it'll be done. So I'll see you guys when the single serving cookie is ready. So the cookie just got out of the oven and I'm so excited. I already know it's gonna be amazing because I made this like, I think I made it yesterday, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this recipe. So let me know if you're gonna try it. And like I said, the recipe is gonna be in the description box or you could also check out my TikTok for the video recipe. So I'm gonna enjoy this cookie and then I'm gonna show you guys my new favorite workout. And the workout I'm about to do is arms and abs and it's perfect for toning and it has a little bit of cardio involved. So you're gonna get your heart pumping and it's great for weight loss. So now I'm gonna eat the cookie and I'll see you guys at the workout. It's time to work our arms and abs. This workout is super fun and challenging and you're just gonna cycle through all the exercises written down in the upper right corner. You're gonna do each exercise for 50 seconds on and have a 10 second rest before moving on to the next exercise. So I recommend downloading an interval timer app on your phone to make this easier. I'm taking a little break there and moving on to some Russian twists, which are one of my favorite ab exercises. With this workout, it's really important to focus on form instead of doing the exercises quickly. So take as much rest as you need.
Then I finished off the workout with one round of an ab burnout challenge that has lots of plank variations which are so hard and I was seriously trembling during these. So as always, let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this workout. Okay, that was an amazing workout and it was honestly so much fun. I always love creating fun little abs and arm circuits because I personally don't like working my arms that much but I know that they're important. So whenever I do arm toning exercises, I always include some ab workouts because it's just good to strengthen your abs and your core in general. But also combining abs and arms exercises is kind of like a match made in heaven. So I really hope you guys try this workout and comment below if you're going to. So I just made this amazing blueberry banana ice cream for dinner and it's so good that my brother wants to steal it from me. So I guess I'm gonna have to make another batch and give this one to him, but I mean, look at that texture. It's like a, a Dairy Queen blizzard. It is so good. Okay, wait, hold this bowl here. I wanna show them the ice cream texture. Hold it up higher, higher, higher. Okay. There you go, look at that angle. Oh, wow. Oh, look, wait, wait, just wait, wait. like ice cream, guys. It is like ice cream, oh my God. Like and subscribe. Mm, yum. Hey, show it! I showed it! You did? Okay. So I'm gonna make another batch of the blueberry banana ice cream. And honestly, I wanted to make a really fancy and fun dinner for you guys tonight. But the only thing I'm craving right now is dessert and I have the biggest sweet tooth. So sometimes ice cream for dinner is the way to go. I wouldn't say it's a super balanced meal because I mean it's still very much like dessert. But it's a way of eating dessert and still getting most of your macronutrients in which is like fats, carbs, and protein. So I love having this for dinner whenever I crave dessert. So like I said, I'm gonna make another batch and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So now I'm just gonna eat this amazing blueberry banana and ice cream for dinner and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this what I eat in a day slash day in the life vlog slash tip video on how I got a flat and toned stomach and I just started this YouTube channel a few weeks ago. So as always, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see from me next because I'm always looking for new ideas and I really just wanna create videos that are helpful for you guys and that you guys enjoy watching. So yeah, comment below what videos you wanna see next. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you this Sunday with my next video. Mwah. Good night, guys.